a tiny SSD by SSK. I love this thing. Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a short video because I'm gonna talk about this new little hard drive right here by SSK. It looks bigger than it is. Like I said, if I put it way back here, I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking about this. But this is an external SSD drive. It's kind of a pre-built SSD drive by SSK. And the reason I love this thing is the size of it. First of all, just take a look at this thing. It's made out of a two millimeter aluminum alloy around it. It almost feels like plastic, but when you put it against your face, it totally feels it's, it's metal. And I looked it up, it is metal alloy that protects the disc in there. And then the size of this thing, it's um, 2.7 inches by 1.48 inches by 0.49 inches. So it's tiny. You can throw this in your bag. You can put this in your pocket. It's got like a little carabiner for your keychain or something like that. And so if you're thinking about getting like flash drives and stuff, this thing's about the same size of those things, all right? And it's got pretty good performance, all right? That's what I wanted to talk about and a pretty good price. So overall, if you like the way this thing looks and everything, I think it's just a no-brainer. You can throw this in the back of your pocket and, and you know take it when you go video editing at the coffee shop or something, and it's just there's nothing to it, right? It's just tiny. Now, I had one like this a while ago, and this one was by, I can't remember, I think this was by Oracle. They don't sell us anymore. I'll show you that one up there. I love this thing too. The problem with this one, this one's only getting like, you know, three to 500 megabytes per second. So it's still fast, the reads and writes, but it's really not as fast as this little one that I'm gonna show you here today. And uh, so this one here, it, let me just show you quickly. It, the one I have is only the 250 gigabyte version. So I have this one right here. It's only 32.99 right now. It's got 190 ratings on Amazon and it's got a 4.6 out of five. So people do like it, all right? But even if you go up to 500, the 500 gigabyte version is only 45.99, and then the one terabyte's only 58.99. So the one terabyte might be the sweet spot at 58.99. You compare that against something like a Samsung you know, S7 or something, these are pretty comparable. And then two terabytes is actually 98, 98 bucks, 99 bucks. Really good deal there as well. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of show you a couple things. Now, in here I was looking, and I have the smaller version. Usually the smaller version has a little bit slower you know, throughput on these things, and I'll show you a speed test in a second. But it looks like a lot of people in here, I'm looking in here with the bigger versions of it, you know, I'll show you a couple of crystal marks and stuff like that. It's basically gonna be around almost a thousand megabytes per second. Now I got less, cause I got the, the smaller version and I'll do the speed test. I got less than that, but some people are, are getting that as long as you use this USB-C cable. It, this, out of the box, this does come with two cables. It's got a USB-C to USB-C, which is the one you wanna to use to get the faster speeds. And then it's got a USB-C to USB-A also that comes in the box, which is really nice. So overall, for the price, you can't complain with the two cables. And it does come formatted, pre-formatted as XFAT, all right? So you can go ahead and you can reformat it if you want to. XFAT will work between Windows and the Mac, work perfectly fine as soon as I plugged it in. That was really nice as well. All right, so let's do a speed test on this really quickly. And I, again, I have the smaller version, the 250 gigabyte drive. So let's go ahead and select, I already selected the correct drive here. I'm gonna do the speed test here. So the, it looks like it's 658 on the writes. And let's see this, 739.5 on the reads. You can see it right there. So that's pretty fast actually for such a small device. It's tiny like that, like I told you. So overall, you're getting better performance than this one I showed you over here for probably a cheaper price, although they don't sell that one anymore. So this is the SSK. Now, this is called the SD500 on the box, which is a little unusual because obviously it comes in a whole bunch of different sizes, 250, 500, one terabyte, two terabytes. But I showed you the pricing on them. So I'm gonna wrap this up. If you're looking for a inexpensive option for an external drive, has a little metal shell on it with a little rubber around it and stuff, it's not a bad idea, not a bad pickup for the cost. Um, again, I mean, I've done dealt with a whole bunch of these different things and I, you know, size is really important, obviously. And then at the end of the day, the build quality is pretty good in this. It comes with the multiple cables, gets fairly good transmission speeds, especially on this low one. The higher one, the capacity ones might be able to get a little faster. So how can you go wrong? You tell me. Pretty cool product. I love to do showcase products like this where I just showcase them to you when I get them. This is what they are. You can get them on Amazon. I'll have a link to it in the description. And we'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.